Hey guys, this is me, 80s144. So today, guys, I want to talk to you guys about Giorena. The Giorena situation, guys. This is one of the most promising players that the USA has to offer. And I understand that people will tell me that he had injury concerns leading up to the World Cup, which is understandable, you know. At the same time, though, if you have a lot of injury concerns, why were you even in the roster? There were players that were injured before this World Cup, the likes of Chris Richards, Miles Robinson. They were ruled out with injuries, okay? So if they were ruled out with injuries, then shouldn't be the same be said with your arena? I know he wasn't injured, but I'm just saying is that I don't really like that excuse, okay? He was fit. He even said after the he even said after the Wales game that I was 100% fit and I was ready to go. And the fact that Greg Berhalter didn't bring him on, not even during the fact that we needed to have a goal against Wales, is baffling. It is absolutely absurd. And this is my thing is that Gio Reyna is one of the most talented players we have on this roster. He even came out a few, we- few weeks ago and said that basically on Instagram, I believe the post and I've deleted it now, I just checked his Instagram yesterday, I believe. And he said that the lack of playing time was a big concern for me and that I was really, really disappointed with it and I felt very emotionally uh, outraged. And I, I agree with him. Like, if you're a player of his caliber, you, you deserve to be starting for this team. You know, you, you, even benching him, I think, is a bit absurd, you know. And the thing is, though, this USA team, we see them not scoring a lot of goals, you know. And this World Cup, USA scored three goals in four games. That's really poor. Really, really poor. And if we want to be that top nation that really wants to rise to the next challenge and punch above our weight, we're going to need to score them on three goals. We're going to need to score, like, six, seven, you know. We're going to have to do a lot better than this. Yes, our defense was pretty good for most of this World Cup. But you can see how the attack is really lacking. And with Gio Reyna's presence, we could do so much more. And this is why I say that I don't want Greg Berhalter. This is why I've said this before, guys. I've never been a huge admirer of Greg Berhalter. I even said before the World Cup that he isn't a great coach for us. And I said he would be the downfall for this national team. And I do believe he is. And we have to replace him. We have to get rid of him as soon as we can. we got to get a coach that can get this USA team to punch above their weight. Because like I said, guys, for the 2026 edition, USA have to bare minimum make the quarterfinals. Bare minimum, okay, make the quarterfinals. Because if we make a round of 16 exit or go out in the group stage, that is embarrassing. Considering that we're the host nation, and by that point, we'll be part one. And by that time, four years time, a lot of the players will be in their primes. So like I said, um, for this World Cup in particular, I think for the USA, it is a moderate it's moderate it's not a huge success not really a huge disaster either. i think the usa did what they were expected to achieve you know advance from the group stage and lose to the dutch in the round of 16 i think i was just about as expected um it would have been nice though if we could have beaten england or netherlands i think if we had beaten either of the two um that obviously would have looked a lot better for us and we would have punched above our weight because typically the u.s men's national team have overperformed um since the 1998 world cup so um, generally speaking, and um, I just think it's a bit disappointing that this edition, we didn't really overperform necessarily. I just think that we did about as expected, and um, yeah, it is going to be interesting to see how the USA do 2026. So, like I said, with the whole Gio Reyna situation, I hope he gets all recovered, because like I said, guys, we're going to need Gio Reyna. We're going to need Gio Reyna a lot, especially in the next World Cup, and especially for the Copa America, which is said to be here in the USA. So like I said, this is my quick video. I want to know what you guys think about this whole Gio Reyna situation. Do you think Greg Berhalter is right to bench him? Or do you think that he is a, he should be starting for the national team? Of course, I want to know your guys' opinion in the comment section below. Remember guys, if you're new on here, considering that like button, hit the subscribe button as well while you're at it. And um, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out!